Welcome, welcome, um, Ophiosis. This is um, the season of the Taurus. This is your finance, money, and wealth reader. I want to say thank you for being here, Ophiosis. Please remember to like and share these videos. Thumbs up. Leave a message, uh, however this affects you. All right, this reading is for your second house, and your second house is your most important um, um, because these readings are only for people who are uh, self-employed, freelancers, and people who are in service, okay? So these are for working people, self-employment, whatever, whatever work you do. Um, these are for you guys, all right? So I see a lot of you are going to be dealing with a cancer man. Whether this cancer man is and whatever I was tra transpiring, um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing what this cancer man has done. The burden is going to be over and I see a lot of information is going to be coming out about this cancer man. So a lot of you, this could be an entrepreneur or this man could be someone that is, uh, um, uh, really use their egos in the wrong way, okay? It could be an ex-supervisor, it could be a boss, it could be a co-worker on the work floor, whoever this cancer man is. Um, You're going to be recognizing and seeing um, what this cancer man have done because there's going to be data and information that is going to be coming out about this cancer man. It is definitely a young, Aries, a young uh, Pisces cancer or scorpion person. And whatever this person have done, they're going to be recognizing and your burdens is going to be over. And I see with data and information coming out, you're going to be recognizing the foul play of this person. You have no regrets about what is going to be happening to this person. Um, you have absolutely no regrets. Your problem is that the burdens that you were carrying is now over. So... Four, four, four in the reverse. Now, this is a significant timeline for a lot of you Ophiosis because it's as if you have uh, um, intervene and stand and try to resolve um, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation, but a cancer man have created. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with the cancers at the workplace or in business, some sort of a significant thing. And it is coming up as 444. It's as if the angels and guides are coming in to resolve the situation. So a lot of you are going to be really standing up against this cancer man. Um, coming out of this season, you're standing up against this cancer man because you recognize that this person have created a whole lot of problems and issue for you. Whoever this person is, is it an acquaintance, is it a business, is it a partnership, or, you know, is it a co-worker or a team worker? Whoever this person is has created a whole lot of issues in order to um, hurt your financial flow moving forward. And uh, you Ophiosis, you would be seeing that this person has done it to other people and is trying to resolve it and working with other people to resolve it so that this person will never create the situation again. So uh, let's go in. This reading is from April 20th until May 20th. So in the first week, we see the energy of this hair of water. Air of water is some sort of an emotional situation, information that is going to be coming in. Whoever this person is, is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion person. And some sort of a communication um, about this person or to this person is going to be um, awaken you to something, okay? And it is a situation where you, some sort of a data information um, is going to be coming out about this person. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing that this person has been either standing in your way or creating a whole lot of issues and problems. So you are going to be recognizing this and... Uh, um, you know, clipping this in the butt uh, as you move forward. And this is going to be very good. Then when we look at the second week, the second week is from April 27th until May 3rd. You are dealing with um, the moon in Cancer. And this person's secrets is going to be coming out. So there we are recognizing that this person had created a, a whole lot of problems, a whole lot of issues uh, um, for a lot of people and 
this person was holding a lot of secrets that people were not aware of and it's all coming out because it's in the reverse so the moon in cancer is where there has been secrets that was held by this person for whatever the reason is this person had a whole lot of secrets and this person basically was creating a whole lot of problems for other people holding a lot of secrets and was working against their teammate working against their colleague because i think that they just think that it was good to do because this these people would not found out but this person has really messed up themselves because uh, they weren't aware of that uh, they were working against certain people. It could have been against you, Ophiosus, but it's as if you, Ophiosus, was watching this person and you, Ophiosus, start to investigate this person and really recognize what this person has done and who this person is and the mask that this person wear and you have their secret so you are about to make some changes and getting rid of this person in order to get rid of your burdens all right then we look at the third week the third week is from may 4th until may 10th your burdens are all over the energy of the ten of wands saturn in sagittarius and saturn came in to end some sort of a collaboration between the spices cancer or scorpion um person and a sagittarian people are now recognizing what a sagittarian have done a tower moment is basically coming down for the sagittarian because saturn is in their house and whenever saturn is in their house so a lot of you could have been um having some sort of a problems and issues and a Sagittarian together with, with a Cancer was the one that was creating these problems and issues for you at the workplace. And this is good because with this, you guys are going to be recognizing this. And as if it's going to be coming out because you opiosos are going to be recognizing that a Cancer man together with a Sagittarian woman is the one that has created all of these issues, all of these problems. And you're going to be recognizing this and bringing it to an end because you're using Saturn, Saturn to release um, information and data that was held by these two people. Um, and you're going to be um, checking their computer and the communication um, that they communicated and how they have data and information that they shouldn't have had. So you all feel this is like you're going to be opening up uh, the way for a lot of other people um, in the company, in the institution, in the organization, on the work floor. And, you know, basically at the end of the day, you're going to be removing these two people because you recognize that these two people have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue around you and around um, things that was happening and transpiring and the chaos that was on the work floor and the chaos in the environment and uh, how you know you were being blocked uh, by a, a cancer man and a Sagittarian woman and there it is that a lot of you Ophiosos is going to be recognized as showing this up and, and you know letting people be aware and uh, showing these two people that we are aware and we have been investigating and looking at what you have been doing for a very long time and it's as if you Ophiosus is going to be understanding why certain process and why certain people aren't being successful is because these two people were working to block certain colleagues or certain teammates in order to move forward. So there you Ophiosus is going to be shedding light and information as to what these two people were doing. Okay. As we look at the last um, for week that is from the May 11 until May 20th, we see data information is coming out. Um, the energy of the Four of Swords uh, in the reverse is Jupiter in Libra. So I see that uh, situations could escalate uh, some sort of a legal issue where these two people are not going to be winning because they they have data and information now that these two people were 
communicating with each other and long uh, for a long time how they work against and created issues in some sort of a situation that was going on so a lot of you opiosis is going to be awakened at this because you opiosis could be the one who is going to be finding out the data and the communication between these people and the telephone conversation and information that was uh, visited between these people and you opiosis is going to be showing up uh, exactly what has been happening and transpiring so i see um you know you opiosis have your work cut out and with this you opiosis is going to be financial stable in the future because this is going to be giving you a career push up the ladder this is the second house this is the taurus uh, season reading and it is going to be giving a lot of you opiosis a push up the career ladder because you have on deck because you found out, because you research, because you investigate and recognize the communication between a cancer man and a Sagittarian woman, again with a Libran, how they had communicated and did something. So you opiosis are going to be coming out of uh, this, um, th your second house in this year. Um, you guys are going to be creating um, a certain, a positive future when it comes on to your career, your business, your project, self-employment, for yourself moving forward. Because you have now on deck certain data and information that was sent um, between a, a cancer man, a cancer woman, a Sagittarian, and a Libran. And how they had communicated and created some sort of... A, um, uh, issues for other people okay so all of this is coming out because the four of swords energy is about jupiter in libra and it's in the reverse so there is no happy ending for a sagittarian and a cancer man because they have data and information and recognize the communication and what these people how these people had collaborated together in order to um, block the success of uh, of of people. Okay, it's as if they didn't want someone to be successfully overcoming and succeed, and a lot of people were not given the chance to be a success. And I see that this is what is going to be coming up, and people are going to be recognizing um, that these people is as if it's four people. I can't say. A man and a cancer woman. These people are like younger than 50. And an older Sagittarian that has created so much problem, so much issue. And you, Opiosos, are going to be coming out with your burdens is going to be over. And because you have shown up this data and information, this is going to be exhilarating you up the career ladder. And this is going to be good. All right, guys, I do love you. It's going to be a powerful season for you guys, especially when it comes up to your finance, money, and business. Um, remember, use the link below. You can pick up any one of these crystals. If you want to look at two of these crystal uh, symbols, um, go check it out. Um, uh, you know, whichever one you want to do. Once you are a member and you have joined, um, you can access these crystal, uh, these, <laughs> oh my God, I do the crystal readings so though. These symbols, these symbols will show you how to uh, manifest um, the situation and how to find and get the information that you're looking for. I do love you guys. Please thumbs up. Please show your love by sharing. I love you guys. I will speak to you next time. Yeah.